Hello my beautiful family, welcome to another episode of Motivation Monday. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Hattas Josa, if you don't know me, and welcome. So today, wow, I came, I came across this paper. <laughs> yes, it's folded, it's folded. So we were um, getting rid of some old papers and high school things going through those things so i came across this paper and was like why is it folded like this what is happening what's the story so when i read it this is what i found after all the failure continue believing in yourself don't start doubting yourself just because you blundered some way pull up your socks and know that you are capable of doing good things So I found this in like my high school um, things, probably was written, I don't know when, but yeah, it was written in my high school days. I don't know why it has an error, like there's an error here. I don't know where, what, what was happening, what was this for? It Like this paper has nothing except for this. And when I saw this and I was like, oh my God, that is so nice. That is so nice because first of all the fact that i would blend it don't doubt yourself just because you blend it somewhere i'm definitely my father's daughter because he likes saying this word so much <laughs> so um this like meant so much to me i felt like i needed to see this because gets hectic sometimes and also i feel like i needed to see this in this time as i'm recording this i'm going back to school yeah and <laughs> i'm quite excited because i've been sitting and feeling like we've been sitting we've been at home and doing nothing for a long time i know school is stressful but also i, I was getting stressed by just sitting at home so i just I don't know this just made me smile so much because it's like a letter from the younger tattoo telling me that child even after you fail in anything just continue believing in yourself and I feel I really needed to hear this and also probably like earlier in like a few years ago I needed to hear this but God knows why I'm seeing this now <sighs> Because um main thing why I feel like I needed to hear all this and it, it hits home because it's from myself to myself. I just it's and seeing the younger you telling you now that even if you fail, don't worry, keep believing in yourself, pull up your socks and know that you're capable of doing good things. I think that part for me, after so many things that I've experienced, the fact that this is from my school books and academically I've been going through the most since I moved out of high school, nothing has ever been the same and it, it has just been like a very discouraging journey. And honestly, I can't wait for the day that I finish with school because that will be probably for good. Because, gee. and like just seeing all of this, it, it, it's just so touching that, wow, it's like she knew. It's like I knew that things are going to get hectic. Things are going to get testing. Up, yeah, testing above all things. It has been a very testing journey so far. And I... Like one of my biggest um, fears has been to fail. I don't know if it's still my biggest fear because I, I mean, I mean, even in that biggest fear of mine, which was failure, like failing in anything, school being like the number one thing and also going through all that. I, I failed a lot of times and I don't know who needs to hear this as well. That just keep believing in yourself. I think this has just, it's a revival in my spirit that you know what, we can still do better, we can still make it. So I don't know who needs to hear this, but we're still capable of doing good things in every single blender that we have made, in every single like thing that we felt like we have failed, we felt like it is the end 
I just believe that we are still capable of doing good things. So going into this new week, just I think look back at who you were before because I know me in high school, I was this girl who knew that I had I had it all and things happen in life and they just make you feel like a bit by bit you start you start now doubting that you have it all you start doubting you start doubting and you downgrade yourself you you start thinking that actually you start settling for less you start you start thinking that you're not as capable as you thought you were before and all these things that happen are just there to test you because the bible says where's my bible the bible says in james oh god where's james Azalani. not me getting lost where is james <laughs> james chapter one says verse of the week just in case you want me to say it james chapter one verse two says dear brothers and sisters when troubles come your way consider it an opportunity for great joy for you know that when your faith is tested your endurance has a chance to grow Mm. so let it grow for when your endurance is fully developed you will be perfect and complete complete needing nothing that's my favorite part that's my favorite part and i think all these things they're just testing us because we just gold has to be tested gold has to go through fire so take it like that hurry you know what i'm still the gold that i knew that i was a few years ago with everything that's happening and things just not going my way but i'm still capable of doing good things and i'm saying that to myself and i'm saying that to you watching that we're still capable of doing good things so i want to keep this for myself yeah once again after all the failure continue believing in yourself don't start doubting yourself just because you blundered some way pull up your socks and know that you're capable of doing good things you i want to read a comment of course like i said i want to read comments one of the comments that i loved was from my big brother it says fear has destroyed a lot of dreams we tend to undermine our ability, forgetting the power that the Almighty has invested in us. God loves you, as always. Thank you so much. Let's go and win. Bye.